And we are out of here, everyone, so we can just go back to the game corner and heal up our Pokemon and have a lot of fun. Uh, I want to be using these slots, actually, because I'm really bad at them, too, as I said before. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Okay, welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes, I would. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Oh, if that chime is still do 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 do. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks about right. Except for a blast, you need to switch with Fumi. Chelsea needs to switch with Fumi. That works, I guess. And. Now that um, we're done really in Celadon City at the, up this point, well, we're done in Celadon City this whole place, so we got the badge, we defeated Team Rockets in their hideout, we got the, well, this is optional, but we got the coin case, and then we got p and and stuff. So what we want to do, I'm going to go cross over to this transitional building, and then we're in Saffron City now, but we don't want to be in Saffron City quite just yet. We want to go back to Lavender Town to be exact, to just, um, see, um, Team Rockets is going to be... Uh, they're next is what is why I'm going there This guy is mr. Psychic, and he's like wait don't you say a word you wanted this And we got tm29 for mr. Psychic, and it's guess what move it is. It's psychic It's a tech that will also lower the target's special stats. Okay, so I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn it But I'm curious to see if I have any Pokemon that can learn it Um, Psychic yeah None of my Pokemon can learn it. Oh man, that's a bummer Psychic is a really good move, but oh well. We're gonna have to just move on and not, you know, have it on our team. But oh well. We we'll, we can deal without it. We can't we'll still be able to win the game and all that without psychic type moves, but it's whatever. Let's me hop on my bike real quick. And we should be able to make it to Lavender Town. I could just flown to Lavender Town, but um we took the scenic route, I guess. And we'll take off our bike, we'll get off our bike. So I think, yeah, Alpha's up front. There's actually a rival battle gonna come up um, in the Lavender Town. So let's do it. It's Pokemon Tower. Oh, it's in Pokemon Tower, I should say. What did they say? I came to pray for my darling particle fairy. Sniff, I, I wash in tears. I'm a wash in tears. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Did you come here to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon. Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. Thank you. It's, this is a place to grieve on, you know, Pokemon, because they actually can die, which is very sad. Hey, yeah, my girl, why did you die? Aww. My girl, uh, you know, passed away. That stinks. Let me chant, boy. Um, they are spirits up in mischief. I sense them high in the tower. And what do you have to say at the front desk? The Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that died. Yeah. It's sad that Pokemon can actually die though. Oh look who it is, it's Gary. Gary Oak from Pallet Town. Yeah, he just says all shocked because I walked behind him. Hey Grodel, what brings you here? Is, is your Pokemon dead? Ha, huh, it's alive. Cause it's your heart. It's alive. It's popping blood, blood. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can at least make them faint, let's go. That is so mean. That is so mean. Why would you say that? That's not very nice, Gary. Even for you, you're, you're supposed to be nicer than that. Just like, but it's in your programming that you say these things. There's your updated sprite again. Like, hey, I'm better than you. I call, I'm count more Pokemon than you by now. So yeah. This Pidgeotto is level 25. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna try Roar, and I want to see if I can get um. He has um, Ivazor to come out instead of, you know, Pidgeot. He has Sand Attack though. Okay. Miss, dang it. He has Sand Attack again to lower Alpha's uh, accuracy stat by, two st by another stage, I should say. Not the Kadabra. Well, the Kadabra. I can use Bite on the Kadabra. That's gonna lower my accuracy again with Kinesis, but it's a different move, but it does the same thing where it says, focus my, um, you know, offers accuracy by, um, one stage, and wow, 
One critical hit, awesome. I'll take it. Oh, it's not level 24. Pidgeotto, okay. I was up. I just have to fight this Pidgeotto like a man. Oh no, Flim Throw, I missed. He has Gust on us, okay. I want to try to burn this um, uh, Pidgeotto if I can, but I don't know. I'll we'll be lucky. Just another Flim Throw. I should be able to hit. Like, Alpha should be able to. Yeah, there we go. But, but Flame Throw, I missed. Dang it. I'm not gonna lose against this Pidgeotto. I'm gonna just use a healing item. I don't care. I don't care, Gary. I don't care. <laughs> I care a little bit now that I think about it, but come on. Flamethrower, okay, it's gonna use Gust again. Flamethrower missed again, are you kidding me? Burn, I missed this time, Flamethrower. <laughs> there we go, nice. Good job. Good job, Alpha. You fainted the um, Pidgeotto. That's good. That's all good. What's your next Pokemon gonna be? The Gyarados? Okay. I'm gonna have to switch out for this one because... Well, I could just, um, use, try to use Roar. Use Fight. Okay, I should... Yeah, I'm not gonna heal again, actually, so that's it. Whatever. Um, we'll go to Thunder for this one. And let's use Thunderbolt. I should one hit KO the Gyarados, I'm hoping, because it's Gyarados is four times weak to electric type moves because it's half water and half flying, so yeah. Then Critical Hit also helps too, nice. Thanks for the Critical Hit. What's your next Pokemon? I can just send out a Growlithe. Growlithe, okay. Well, your Growlithe also knows Intimidate. Okay. Uh, let's just Thunderbolt on it. Oh yeah, static, yay. Well, not static, but it just paralyzed it because it was, um... Uh, it had a chance of paralyzing it because it was an old time move. If you use a Thunderbolt and your Growlithe will be fainted, Gary. Sorry. Yeah. And then we have Thunder Good level 28. Awesome. This last Pokemon is probably the Ivysaur I was talking about earlier. Yeah, Ivysaur. Um... Choose Thunder Wave on it, I guess. Now let's see. I'm gonna just spam Mega Punch here, so we'll have to see if this works or not. Okay, Sleep Rider missed good. Mega Punch. Boom. Right to the face. A punch right to the face. Doesn't do as much as I thought. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to just. I'm gonna use Mega, mock, uh, mega Punch. I almost said Mock Punch. Mega Punch until you. Cyber so I faints. It's paralyzed for that last turn, so that's awesome. Oh no, not Sleep Powder. Can we use an Awakening on Thunder? Uh, let's see here, Awakenings. Yeah, there we go. Soon we'll get actually. Soon we'll get an item, maybe for this live stream session where we don't have to buy Awakenings anymore. It's called the Poker Flute, and it wakes up sleeping Pokemon, <laughs> just like the Snoroxes that we've seen, and also wakes up any Pokemon in battle. But, uh, but if you you and the foes to sleep, you might not want to use it unless you really want need to, because it'll wake up everyone. If you Pokemon on the battle sequence that here's um the Pokefu. So let's go for what's your mm, let's go for Phoebe I guess. This is my grass type carry. Um kind of guess. There we go, nice. Getting yeah, 754 experience points. Another 28. Ready for the Gary. What you stinker? I took it easy on you too. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, no, that stinker. Smell ya. I don't know. For that 100 Pokedollars though. Hey, your Pokedex. How's your Pokedex coming along? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. But where where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. When you say that, that's actually irony right there. Um. Well, I bet you. I better get going. I have a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. Yeah, I just gotta accept the fact that you're gonna smell me, and you wanna smell me later, or see me later. It's okay. But, because the irony between the- there's no Marowak, there's probably none left. Well, there's a Marowak, who is a ghost, and it's Cubone's mother. And, you can't catch a Marowak in the 
Lost Towers. You can only catch Cubo in Ghastly and Haunter, I believe. Besides so three Pokemon. So, I want to actually go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. So, I'm going to do that real quick. Well, I can't run in this Lost uh, Pokemon Tower, but that's okay. I don't want to run next because I might destroy, uh, run into any, uh, you know, just bro break, you know, tombstones that are laid out for the Pokemon that have been passed, uh, have passed away. So yeah, let's just go in the Pokemon Center, and let's talk to Nurse Joy, and she'll heal up our Pokemon, and it'll be fun, it'll be fun, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. Okay, here, I'm gonna shop for the, the Pokemon again for a little bit. So let's see what we can buy. Buy, um, Great Balls. We buy five more, so. Not twelve, just five more. There we go. Super Potions. We buy like eleven more, I guess. <laughs> Fives. Buy like, buy like, um, one more, I guess. Um, antidotes, you can buy like three more, I guess. Paralysis heals, we have 14 G's, burn heals, we have one. Ice heals, we have like five right now, three, okay, that's fine. And then, super repels, I like four, I guess. Okay, cool. There's no need to buy, for me to buy any escape ropes, because I can just use, uh, Ch uh, Chelsea's dig and when I'm in a cave or something, so that's actually handy. Let me check my Pokemon real quick. Yeah, Let's switch with Phoebe. Okay, everyone's level 28 except for Chelsea and Alpha. Okay. And yeah. Oh, wait, this is the first floor, okay, so sadly we can't run in this place, but then again I explained why it's bad to run in a graveyard, because it's not respectful. I'm gonna walk and be safe. Here's a chant where, um, be gone, Maleficent, Maleficent, Maleficent spirit, I'm bad at reading, sorry. Let's just battle you, let's have a Pokemon battle, let's have fun, nothing big. Super Pokemon, you have your gas, okay. Luckily for me, Alpha knows Bite, and that's super effective against Ghost. Dark, is super, dark type moves are super effective against Ghost type Pokemon. So, yeah, let's use Bite. On Nightshade, okay, so this will do 22 uh, HP on Alpha, because Nightshade, um, it'll do the, the amount of HP that's equivalent to your level. So, for example, that Gas was level 22, so it did uh, 22 HP on Alpha when it used its Nightshade attack. So, just to keep that in mind. But yeah, we defeated Chandler, Patricica, Patricica, Pacifica, I don't know, I can't even, I didn't, I know it started with a P and it looked like Pacifica or something. Patricia, something like that. Phew, the spirit left. Thanks for 704 Pokedollars though. 